USDA projected lower corn yields in Minnesota than a year ago at 191 bushels per acre, down three bushel. However, they raised soybean yields. We talked to farmers in the state to find out what they're expecting when the combines roll. The corn yield potential has been pulled down by nitrogen loss and damage from heavy rains and flooding in parts of the state. The corn cup is really variable. It goes from zero to, uh, to not too bad. Uh, and, and so much of our, you know, of our corn is up and down and all yellow. As a result, producers in those areas are expecting lower yields. We're probably 30 bushel off what we planned. 210 was kind of the low end of the fields that we planned for production wise. So, you know, I'm really hopeful for 180, 185 uh, farm averages. However, it's a tale of two crops with better potential to the north and east with more normal rainfall. If I will go to the eastern side of the state, though, I think we have a lot that could be easily into that 200 bushel range or bigger. Meanwhile, USDA is projecting soybean yields in Minnesota at 49 bushels per acre, up two bushels from 2017. And with this warm temps and the moisture we got, I'm hoping that we can be in that 55 to 60 bushel range, which is a very good bean crop for us. But again, there are wet pockets that will have yields below 2017. They're going to be down. We usually run around average in the 60s, but we're not going to get that this year because of the drownout and then the spots that didn't come right. So with the high variability, the jury's still out on statewide yields until the combines roll this fall.